On this episode of Southall Computing, we're going to take an Asus RTN12 and install both DDWRT and tomato firmers on it. And that's coming up next. Warning. The following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey everybody, Dan from South Talk Computing, and here today we're going to do the infamous DDWRT firmware and tomato firmware on an RTN12. As always, we like to do the DDWRT firmware first because it always gives us here in the lab a better success rate. So let's get this thing unboxed. Okay, so everything's unboxed. Looks like this thing's never been used before. I'm kind of surprised since this is this router has pretty much been around since 2009. But you got your power adapter. You got your very cheaply made. Oh my God, it's not even a fully paired uh, Ethernet cable. I don't know if we could. Let's see here. Oh, I guess it doesn't. No, it takes just pictures. But you can sort of see it. It's not fully uh, wired, so that's crap. And. Uh, the utility disc here is actually useful. Um, back in the day, you had to use the Asus Restore Utility to get these firmwares, but now everything's easy enough where you could just do it through the router's GUI here. So we're going to get rid of that. Oh, not a good throw. And uh, another nice feature of this guy is it has removable or detachable antennas that are easily upgraded because they just screw in the back there. Um, for testing, on um, this guy here, we are using Revision B1. So the reason why we picked this router was this particular Revision B1 has more memory as far as flashable memory for software for these third-party firmwares. So B1 and D1 revisions have 8 megabytes versus the other ones that only have 4. Right now D1 is not able to uh, accept the DDWR T firmware as well as tomato so A through C can actually accept these firmwares that's what we're gonna do here we're going to set it all up and and get the software installed here we go okay and away we go So the username and password for the default there is admin and admin. So we're going to go to advanced settings and we're going to go to administration and we're going to go to firmware upgrade and there we go. So now we're going to select the DDWRT firmware. I've already downloaded and I'll put in the link in the description below. And that's it. We're just going to hit upload. And we're going to give this five minutes. So. Okay, so that was pretty painless. Um, halfway during the firmware installation there, it rebooted the router. And uh, I wasn't expecting that. I thought for sure I bricked it, but uh, believe it or not, that was actually part of the process. So we waited the five minutes. As you can see, the router is up and running. So we're just gonna give it a basic username and password. Oops, if I could type correctly. There we go. And that one. Okay, we're in. And voila, so you have a base image of DDWRT on an RTN12B. Uh, over here, you can see the specs for it. All those 
Uh, RTN 12s have the 300 megahertz processor. Some of them are different uh, particular Broadcom chips, but they're all 300 megahertz. So now, uh, if you wanted to, you could install a newer version, go from here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and install the tomato firmware now. So we go to administration, firmware upgrade, and over here, which is very important, reset to defaults. I've already downloaded the file, it'll be in the description below. And this is the Shibby Tomato firmware that we're going to put on here. And this particular one, 6 megs, again we have the B1 or B revision because it has an 8 megs of flashable memory. So this is more than enough, it'll fit on this particular router. So let's do it. And you hit the upgrade. Okay, so here we go. We just have to go back up here, get rid of this index part, and go back to one. And voila, we have tomato on here. But before you start using tomato, you definitely should do this under administration here. Go to administration, and uh, where are you? Under upgrade, configuration. Yep, restore default configuration, and you want to do the bottom one here, erase all data and NVRAM be thorough. Say okay. Okay, and there you have it. We're gonna hit continue, and as you can see, it's definitely running. Another successful install of Tomato and DDWRT on a Asus product here. This one way easier than the one that we previously did. I believe it was like the W500 series there. As always, if you like what you see here, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hey, subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Dan from Southpaw Computing, and as always, until the next time.